Clint ran in here, and again, with unbroken eye contact, took off his pants while staring at me. Just took them off. I, I was glancing over it as I was doing yeah. that. Look, you were looking at Straight me. into my damn eyes. And then got up, walked out, and looked at me, and then closed the door. <laughs> and we're dating now. Dude, that's weird, Clint. No. I'm not that weird. <laughs> So this week's short is called Sleep Fighter, and it's basically a martial arts fight scene, but where one of the participants is completely asleep. Ash is playing Mindy, who is moving into Ellery's house. Ellery's playing a character named Paige. Paige doesn't like the fact that her mom remarried this asshole guy named Ron. She doesn't like that she has to have this stepsister. And on top of that, Ashley's character, Mindy, sleep fights when in her sleep. Like other people sleepwalk, she sleep punches and kicks and all that kind of stuff. So this is gonna be a very pre-production heavy short and because I've never directed action. I haven't directed anything in two to three years. Ashley is gonna have her eyes closed for a pretty big percentage of the fight. And then she's gonna have a sword so she might kill Ellery for reals, which means we have to basically film the fight scene before we film the fight scene many, many times. We have to get all the rehearsal down, all the movements. Ash and Ellery need to have it in their bones and memorized so that once the, the time comes to actually film the thing and everything's real and the swords are real, that it's second nature. I should be sharp no matter what, right? You don't want me floppy. But I feel like you want sharp, precise movements, big, sharp, precise movements for it to read on camera well. So the interesting thing about doing a short that's all about fight well, scenes is you can't write out a fight scene. You have to fit, find it out physically. So right now we're going to basically just play around, just try different fight scenes, try different fight maneuvers and see what feels good. And then we'll actually know exactly what we're doing and everything will be planned and nothing will go wrong. This is still going to be really dangerous because we have metal on metal. And if you get clipped by that, like it's gonna suck, you know? So we, How long did you see so we realized the second half is gonna be a bit more intensive than what we thought. I did martial arts for a little bit, but that doesn't make me a choreographer. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hit up the big dogs here and see if they'd be down to help us choreograph something. Hello. Yo, hey, we were wondering if you could um, choreograph a scene for us. <laughs> we shoot Monday, we, we need it to be choreographed tomorrow. We only have 2,500 bucks. Less. We have less than 25 pounds. Wait, because we bought a bunch of stuff. Oh, um. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need, we need your help. Today is Friday. We have uh, three days left before we shoot, and we're doing choreography with Clint's friend, uh, who's an incredibly talented uh, action choreographer. And he, on very short notice, very kindly um, agreed to come over here to where we're shooting at my house and figure out the action choreo with us. Hey, what's up? My name is Malai Kim. I am doing the fight choreography for today's project. The plan is to map out the choreography, uh, pick out the shots that will work best for each move, and rehearse it with the actors so they're comfortable with doing everything. Whenever it's just an actor who doesn't have any uh, experience doing stunts or martial arts. I always try to make it as simple as I can and then uh, we'll, we'll build up to see what else we can add on to it. You're striking, you're blocking, you're striking. Oh, I see. Like that? Yep. That's it. There you go. Look at that. Clint's friend Malai was really, really, really helpful. He helped us pre-viz and uh, choreo the entire second and third chunk of the entire short, basically. Which means that we're gonna be really, really prepared when we go to actually shoot it tomorrow. Sleeping buddies, sleeping, yeah, yeah. Sleeping buddies, uh, uh, buddies. Oh, you jumped in. Yo, yo, my name is Stop, Paige. everybody stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> So we're done with all the pickups, which means it's time to get into the fight and hope nobody dies. And hold on, hold on, say your two, so you know where it is because the sword's been moving. Oh, so there's gonna be a comp shot on the other side where the katana's gonna come through and stop right from her face. But we're gonna do it in two bits where we'll stab the thing through, get that shot all locked off, and then we'll, once the katana's not moving, Ellery will move her face in, and go, whoa! And then we'll combine the shots after. Because it would be insane if you were a young filmmaker and you wanted to do a sword stunt to actually put Ellery's face there and have a sword coming at it. Yes. So we have to use special effects to make sure Ellery doesn't die. And action. That was it. Great. What's the rest of the day schedule? The fight. After lunch, we have the rest of the fight. This is sort of the prelude to the fight. This leads into the fight. Ellery is going to turn. She's going to grab that anarchy flag. And then it's going to get into a samurai style Flag versus katana with feathers coming down like snow. Uh, and it's gonna be fun, hopefully. Background action, 30% of action. 
Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and I'm wearing a sleep mask, but just doing a normal sleep mask would be way too dangerous. So uh, we made a special one. So it's not 100% see-through, but it gets me 90% of the way there. So I can actually see what I'm doing when I'm fighting. How many fingers am I holding up? Two. Oh, boom. <laughs> Background action. Action. <laughs> Good to me. That's great. Yep. Right. So we just finished up the katana fight, um, and we're on to the hand-to-hand -hand stuff now. Action. No, that, that top looks sick. But the, I wasn't. Let's just go Yep. Action. Here, so you have yeah. more room, so you're not as crowded. Action. <laughs> that was like 50% better. Action. Green points, maybe my favorite I think it would be... Alright, awesome, that was it. Golden. The chocolate. Action. Oh, that's okay. I, um... Alright, that's, that's a wrap. That's a wrap! I think the shoot went well. We'll see how it goes in the edit, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. I learned a lot. I learned that... I enjoy directing. I learned that Ellery and Ashley are incredible at learning fight scenes in a short period of time. Clint's amazing at ADing. Jimmy's amazing at DPing. They made my job so easy. I didn't know what it'd be like to direct a team of this size. Everything I've directed, I've directed pretty much on my own, and they made it so easy. All in all, I think it was a good shoot. It's just, ch oh. Oh. Eat it, eat it. Just like for flavor. Yep, oh. shoot it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I better not get sick.